55 paintings. And I wanted to take you through kind of my process through it because at the start, as you'll see, it really sucked and I really wanted to kind of stop. But I just kept to it and it was kind of fun to kind of see the growth and work on it and I still got a lot more progress to make but I thought it'd be cool to kind of show a progress video of my paintings. I've got some here and I've got them scattered on the floor. Some of them are still wet so you kind of have to be careful with them but let's start. <laughs> this is my first one. My first painting. Yeah. I didn't have the right tools for it and I just was kind of getting into it, you know, so I didn't want to commit to it too much because I didn't want to waste my money on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's just this flat triangle, yeah, let's just get rid of that one already. Oh my god, this one's even worse. I did this one and I realised I did not know how to do anything. I tried to do something different, I was following a Bob Ross tutorial and yeah, it didn't turn out that great. Let's get rid of that one. This one's a bit of an improvement from the first one, but still not quite great. You know, I was still getting kind of frustrated, but I really wanted to get it, so I was just keeping at it. And then here you can see that I've made a bit of progress, you know, like my colours aren't quite mixing right. My clouds look freaking weird, and but like the reflection's alright, and like, you know, I'm starting to fiddle around with trees a bit more. Although I don't know what that is. Then there's this one. <laughs> just this gap that I didn't want to know how to fill. That was supposed to be a grassy area, but it just kind of looks like a bad, really bad reflection. But yeah, that tree, those trees are turning out alright. And this one, I, I remember doing this one. This was like a big step, you know, you might be looking at it like, oh, this is this kind of shit, this is terrible, what are you thinking? But this was like the first one where I was like, oh my god, I did something that's actually okay. You know, I've got some trees in here, I've got some grass, and, and look, it actually looks kind of like grass. <laughs> but forget about the perspective, but like, there's a little rock there, the reflections look really nice. I was just happy with it, but I was still really working on mixing the colours for the mountain, and you know, how I kind of create it to actually look like a mountain. Here, you know, my mountains are getting better, but I still didn't quite have the tools, and this one's like really kind of terrible. I tried to do a house and it like really frustrated me. So I kind of gave up on trying different things, you know, I kind of just stuck to doing um, these mountain kind of ones with trees. This one's like a really dark one. I decided not to do a mountain in this one and kind of go with a river. Eh, it's not great. The sky looks kind of weird. <laughs> this one. I just wanted to practice mountains with this one. Oh my god, those clouds. You can see like all the scuff marks from the clouds, so I was still having trouble kind of blending it. <laughs> this one I tried something different. I tried to do <laughs> northern lights, but it kind of didn't turn out quite right. But at the start I was just kind of exploring with kind of ideas and kind of trying out these different things. You know? And then I kind of stuck with like these things because I found it easier to do and it's kind of what I enjoyed doing and wanted to work on and <laughs> that one was only with a palette knife so I kind of challenged myself there and you know so many of these that kind of suck and you just do it and you're like oh my god why am I painting and then you get one like this one and you may be looking at it like oh that's not that great but this was the first painting that I did from fully memory and I actually really liked it and I felt excited painting it. I was like, oh my gosh, look at these clouds coming in, the beautiful sunset, you know, the colours in it. And <laughs> the clouds are kind of weird, but then there's this rock down here and it's kind of like this moody water with reflections and rocks. And I was kind of happy with it, even though it's really kind of simple. And um, that, that was kind of like a, a step towards progress. And there I think I had... I had better tools there, you know, I had a better, I had an actual easel and I had better paints. And then there's this one, not a really mountain, kind of like this, another sunset one. Didn't really turn out that great. And then by this one, I kind of realized, you know, it's quite easy to do sunsets and I kind of found out how to do it and I really enjoyed doing it. 
<laughs> and I was still kind of experimenting with the trees, you know. Some of the limbs kind of look really nice, you know, some of those little leafy parts, but it was hard to get it consistently, and the mountains still look weird. This was another one that I kind of did from memory from the sunset. And I, that's where I started experimenting with these sorts of trees, you know, kind of like the Australian gum leaves. And I found that was quite interesting and kind of fun to do. Here, looks like I started to get more of the better paints. And my clouds are a little bit better, but I'm still getting like kind of like the streaks in it, which kind of look weird and I was, I'm still trying to figure that out now, and I think it's because it's too much magic white or too much, or not enough thick enough paint. But um, yeah, just been experimenting with these, and then here's another different one that I actually really liked. You know, it was like a seascape, and they're they're hard, man. When you've been doing mountains and trees, and you try to do a seascape, it's kind of hard. But this one kind of looks nice, even though it's not really realistic or you know very crazy, nothing crazy about it. You know, still experimenting, still kind of finding my way with it. You know, practicing mountains in this one, you know, different kind of layers. Tried to do it like in the clouds, but kind of looks kind of weird. And then, oh, I finally found out how to do that water nice. You know, that little water thing there, kind of overflow. And still doing the sunsets because, you know, it, it turned out well. And as you can see, you know, I'm starting to get my colours mixed a lot better. You know, that looks like a grey mountain. Um, th the mountains are starting to come out a little bit better. And the grass, you know, the grass and the leafy stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> as I say that, the next one. I was just having a really bad day that day. I remember that day. Yeah, I really hated this one because I wasn't feeling it and I just tried to get through it and it, my easel just kept falling over and I just got frustrated. There's another nice sunset one, you know, my trees are getting a lot better and I was trying to do the perspective of the mountain, you know, like it's darker coming forward. Looks alright, but you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. Here I tried something different again. You know, try to do kind of like an Australian kind of mountain scape, but kind of looks weird because I didn't really know how to do it. So I thought I'd just stick to the Bob Ross kind of style mountains and then see how they go. And I'm also like experimenting with these big trees and continuing these Australian gum kind of style trees. And they turned out quite nice, you know, they look all right. And here I, I was just practicing these ones along here. Um, this one's actually from earlier. This is one of the ones I did in the first week. You know, <laughs> you can kind of tell because that's like so blue and that's like so pink. You know, it doesn't really look like snow. I don't have them in this, in this specific order because I didn't date them, which was kind of silly. But they're in like the rough kind of order. You know, in this one, I, I think I was getting more of the um, sap green. I had sap green. So it like turned out a lot nicer. But my mountains, you know, I think they were still having trouble mixing the mountain colour. That would have been one from earlier. Because I did these side ones like the second or third week of my painting. You know, these clouds are kind of turning out nice, you know, that one's good. But then there's still like some scuffy ones there. <laughs> oh, he's another bad day one. Yeah, I, I just was like, I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to try a bunch of different trees. You know, see what I can do and kind of work on my trees, because I felt like they weren't very good. And then that's where I kind of practiced doing these kind of sticky things with like the script liner, which was fun. This was one that I liked as well. You know, the perspective isn't great, but I really love that way, you know, how it looks. And that tree's like pretty cool. But then it's kind of like this perspective isn't that great and like I had trouble kind of doing the beachy area here. But I was just trying something different again, you know. And then, you know, just trying to practice. You know, these kind of things, if you want to get better at them, you just got to kind of stick with it for the long run and do it like painting after painting. 
kind of reflect, you know, what did I do wrong? What did I do right? What can I do next time? That kind of works out better. Oh, these ones. These ones are from earlier as well, you know. My third week, maybe. And then um, we'll get into some of my more recent ones now. So these, these are my favorite ones that I've done. And I've actually had these up for sale. And you can just tell like the, it's so much more different. Like if I grab, uh, if I grab my first one, you kind of see what I did. And like what I've come to, it's like crazy, you know? And that's like a month of progress. Crazy, crazy. And then this one, oh my God, this is my favorite one. My favorite one. Just like that mountain. I really want to show you this. This mountain was like where I had got it, you know, and I realized, oh my God, I finally found out how to do mountains really good. And then these trees like turned out really great as well. And I was just like, oh, oh, just like made me happy inside doing that one. This one's a pretty nice one as well, you know. I'm doing lots of kind of sunset ones because I found it easy to do and it looked really nice, you know. Oh, this one, it's got really nice tree there and this big one up here, which I was really happy with. This one, I tried something different again. You know, I wanted to do kind of like a waterfall. I didn't really mix my paint on the shadow side that well there, but you know, it's they're, they're a lot better. And then there's this one as well. That one's pretty good. I was happy with that. It was, it's not great, but you know, I was pretty happy with it. So now I'll go into these ones that are dry that have been recently. So there's this one. There's this kind of mountain range one. You know, I'm just trying to practice work on the mountains and get them quite right. And then there's this one. And these other ones are still a bit wet. So, I'll show you them. There's this one, which looks quite nice. That's the one that I did yesterday. Yeah, I did this one yesterday. You know, I'm still kind of working on the mountains and, but I was really happy with that tree because I was, I've been trying to get it so, like, I was just trying to get it just right. And it's like hard to do these trees. So the day before that, I had just done this treescape. I did something different because I was looking back and like, I was like, oh, I've tried so many different things, you know, and I should be working on my trees. And honestly, I was disappointed with this one, but you know, looking back on it, it's it's not too bad and it's kind of like a nice kind of treescape, but it's it's kind of very grey. Maybe I should have mixed the colours better there, but then there's this mountain one with some trees. That was done two days ago as well. These ones are dated because I realised oh I should probably date them to see kind of my progress with them. There's that one. kind of one so I know I'm still kind of messing around with the trees you know I'm just trying to get it to look more realistic this one actually looks kind of nice but then from a distance it looks pretty good you know it's got nice kind of harmony and kind of that sort of thing but then when you look at it close up it's kind of the colors aren't that great and the leaves don't really like mingle or gel at times and that's because recently I just wanted to really work on my trees because I feel like I've been focusing so much on the mountains that my trees weren't coming out quite as I liked. And then the last one. That's, that's a long way, you know, from like this to like that. That's that's a lot of progress in like a month. 
you know, and I still want to continue with this and work on it, but it kind of shows, you know, if you stick with something for a month, you can actually become quite good at it and you can make a lot more progress than you think is possible. And like, I could have easily quit at one of these points, easily, you know, I really wasn't enjoying it and I was feeling down and just like frustrated because it wasn't coming out how I wanted it to. But then, you know, you get, you get ones that you really like, you know, and then you're like, oh my God, this is actually worth it. You know, it's starting to see my progress. And then you get another like 10 that kind of suck. And then you get some that kind of excite you, but then you're like, oh, I could do better. And it's kind of like this fun kind of cycle where you're like, you're enjoying the doing the painting because you've built up a skill to it and you kind of understand how to do it. And you're kind of trialing, I'm trialing out all these different things. And then, you know, every now and again, you get this one that like excites you and then you just want to keep doing it. So that was my painting kind of journey so far. 55 paintings. I was going to stop this at 50 and just do 50 paintings, but I ended up doing 55 when I went back and counted them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.